Critterland. Today I have the amazing Sylvanian Families Calico Critters House on the Hill to open up and I'll be doing an update on our collection and the future plans I have for Critterland. I'll also be showing you some amazing gifts, particularly these beagles that I got for Christmas and some new additions to Critterland as well as this living room set, which seems disjointed, but it will make sense. So anyway, I will start with the House on the Hill. This is the 15th anniversary gift set from Japan. I've got the cottontail rabbits out because it comes with three cottontails. And I also have this amazing exclusive chocolate rabbit family that I plan to have occupy the house. This is from 2000, which was when the 15th anniversary was, and I got this on eBay from Japan. I got it for a really reasonable price, and it came complete with both of the little sets that are included, the birthday party and the blue bathroom, and the house itself is in excellent condition. Looking at it now, it may have a little sun damage, but it looks like everything is in working order. Every single part is included. This dust will come off pretty easily. But yeah, it looks to me to be in really good condition. Although I did notice some suspicious powder <laughs> like crusted in there, but I will wipe it off and get it nice and spiffy. And it looks like there's some discoloration, but I think maybe they used some harsh chemicals or maybe like sanded it or something, and I don't, uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can improve that. But here is everything it came with. We have all these cute little boxes that go with the party set. And then this is the party set. And this is slightly different from the other vintage party set I have, although many of the pieces are the same. And then here is the blue bathroom, which I already have the blue bathroom, but it'll be good to have another one. And then these are all the fences and whatnot. So we are going to first set up all the fences or railings, I mean. So here are the little lanterns. The reason I bought this one is because it was complete and the house itself was appeared to me to be in really good condition. And I do think it's in good condition for its age, so I'm happy. But often you'll see these listed with a railing here missing or the stair piece missing. That's very common. So I was happy to find it complete. And I am so excited to set this up. Ah, I have so many plans for this, so many ideas. And I will be doing a full setup of this house. So I'm very excited about that. This is a house I kind of held off on because of its sheer size. Like it's you know, difficult to find a place to put it. But you'll see when I share my collection update, the plans that I have. So I did add it. And here is the front and we've got some pieces to put on here. That just looks so good. And we've got the staircase, beautiful railings. I just love the facade of this house, the front porch, the terrace, the colors. It's just amazing, and I'm really glad now that I might actually have some room for it. And there it is all set up. So we're going to open the party set now. This is a very cool set. Now we already have most of these pieces from the vintage Tomy birthday party, but this is like an updated version, which would have come out in 2000, like about 10 years after the first one. We have the same cake, the same amazing miniature vintage house. Ah, I can't believe I have two of these. I never thought I would have one, and now I have two. And it's just amazing that this was included with the house on the hill. So now we have two houses with the itty bitty furniture. And then this one has different boxes. So you can see it has a more modern looking furniture box compared to the other one. And this one has uh, also a more modern box. And on the back, it has a picture of what looks like a different house, but that's okay. And we've got a piano, and it's a new style of piano for us. This did not come in the Tomy set. It is a little bit 
Yeah, a little scuffed up, but that's all right. Very cute little piano. And then we get some instruments. A little flute and a little kid's keyboard. So that's fun. And then we get a whole other slew of these cards, which we got in the other set. But the, the design on these cards are different. And it's kind of weird to be getting all these cards, and they're obviously out of scale for critters. But it occurred to me, this was made for kids, and the kids wouldn't be able to play with cards that were any small. So that looks like, those look like Trump cards. <laughs> so that's funny. And then we've got the little concert stickers, which, uh, are, which is unique to this set compared to the vintage one. Although this is also vintage, but you've got little music books. And then you've got this amazing little kind of DIY book that gives you all kinds of ideas on setting up your house. And then the figures were disappointing. Um, they are uh, discolored pretty badly, pretty yellowed. So I will try to salvage them and wash them up a little bit. And it's kind of hard to tell in this light. It was very hard to tell on the images what their condition was. But uh, up close in person, I can just see they're quite dirty. But the clothing is in great shape. And I really love the sister's orange dress. So that's great to have. So I'm going to set aside these pieces and we'll open the blue bathroom. Now we do have the blue bathroom that I was lucky enough to find brand new in the box. So this is our second one and this is not in great shape. So you can see it with some of the pieces. Uh, the sink is really scuffed, just kind of filthy. But I do love this sink, and I love how it's got the piping, like all the older sinks. But it's just, you know, dirty. I'll see how it cleans up, but it's nothing like the brand new one that I got that's all shiny. And then we've got this beautiful ceramic bathtub which is our first ceramic tub, I believe. And then we have the old style faucet. And I think in the, uh, the blue bathroom that I got, the bathtub was plastic. I'll have to double check. And I don't remember getting a pink bath mat. But there is the uh, poor condition blue bathroom and the party set. And I'm actually gonna open these guys up when I do the setup rather than opening them now. So let's head over to Critterland and I'll show you some new additions and give you an update. These are the ice cream polar bears. These are the drivers and you can see the ice cream van briefly, but there were two ice cream vans that came out in 2012, the blue and the white. And then we have the polar bear uh, ice cream driver and server that came out at the same time. And then here are the Mesa's mice. Ah! I got these as a throw-in with another set, which was like shocking. And then over here, we have the beautiful conservatory, which I've wanted for ages and ages. And I found it for a steal on eBay with absolutely no damage in the box. And then the Beagle family, which was a gift from my mother. This was a complete shock. I can't believe she found this family. The original one came out in 1997, and then in 2005, the Calico Critter version came out, which you can see has a lighter color ear compared to the earlier one. And over here we have Christopher Appleblossom. He is from the Watermill Bakery from 2007. And then the Captain Sea Dogs River Crew. I think they're from 1993, which is when Captain Sea Dog came out. But you can see they came in pretty rough shape, pretty dirty and dusty, but with good bones, with good flocking and coloration. So I cleaned them up, I think, pretty well. Their outfits are nice and bright white now compared to before. So they are ready to go clean the ship on the river. I absolutely love this family. This was, or this set, this was on my top five forever and ever and ever. And now I have Captain Sea Dog and the River Crew. And I got this from a USA seller for a very good price. I also added the Beauty Salon, the 2009 one, which is amazing. And it came with Antonio Patches. He is from, he came with the set in 2009, but his family is from the 80s, the Ivory Dog family. 
and he was pretty yellow and dirty, but look how bright he came out and clean. I kept his transformation was just stunning. So happy. And then I added the ponies, which I think are a little odd compared to the other critters, but I do love them. I've grown to love them, and I think they are a perfect fit for the salon. And this salon is just epic. And this one came with the permanent machine, which is so cute. This was actually a separate set that didn't originally come with the salon. And this salon is an example of how the older sets are so different and so much more detailed than the newer ones. I also added some little woodsies. This is the lemonade stand with the bunny, and I love this lemonade stand. I've had my eye on it forever and finally got it. It was $8 at Target. And then I got this little garden set over here, also for $8. And it's so detailed. It's got more pieces and more detail than the Sylvanian version. Although the plastic is definitely a little cheaper looking, but I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And it came with that cute little figure. So I'm happy with those little woodsies, even though they're not technically Sylvanian. But anyway, I'm gonna be making some major changes to Critterland. So the way you see it now is not how it's gonna look. You'll notice I put this little uh, backdrop up I have a whole mural that goes with it that will stretch all the way across the wall, but I have to reposition what I already put up because I just miscalculated it. I also have some ivy to hang in the corner, and I've got these tablecloths that will go all the way down the table so you won't see all the sets underneath, and some blackout tape or whatever for the window. Well, hello, Bella. You're kind of in the way. I put all my critters in these, excuse me, I put all my critters in these special uh, bins, which I think are way better for them. The only problem is they're all over the floor, so I'm going to have to put them on like a shelf. But this is way better than those bags. And I've got my furniture in these tubs, just like before. I did add some more little woodsies uh, pathways that I got on eBay. And I got my closet way more organized, and I consolidated a lot of boxes, so it's not just like a mess that falls all over you when you open it. And I moved a couch out of my bedroom to make room to extend Critterland, so we'll have more space. And I got a few more Critter-related gifts. This is a professional phone tripod, which I sorely needed. This was from my son, aka my mother, and it is so nice. It is, it's got a little clicker and it's very sturdy. So I'll be able to do much better setups with this compared to the other one I had, this janky like $10 thing that just was terrible. So I'm very happy about that. I already showed you the beagles, but I'm just so happy with the condition of these critters. Their clothes are perfect. They're a little faded, but that's very common with these older critters. And then we've got these little itty bitty erasers that are critter themed from my brother. And then my older sister found me this amazing <laughs> calico critter uh, shopping bag. Isn't that cute? It's got Stephanie Marshmallow and it's got the design on both sides. So that was really fun to open. Okay, so this luxury living room, I plan to put into the house on the hill because I think the furniture is styled very similarly with the house, or like it, it's kind of in the same date range. So I'm not gonna be setting up the house on the hill, but I thought at least we could open this living room set and take a look. It's a very beautiful living room. And I was so fortunate to find it completely new in the box, unopened. So we'll open it up and take a look. This set is, I think, from 2012, if I'm not mistaken, although many iterations of it have come out, and I think it may be as old as 2007 from Flair. This is the uh, epic release that came later. But look at how detailed all this is. There, it came with a million accessories, unlike certain modern living room sets. It's just amazing. So here is everything. We've got the beautiful fireplace, this does light up, and I love the design of the brick. <clears throat> now, I don't know why I'm trying to turn it on, because I know it doesn't have batteries, but I will add batteries when I do the setup, and it'll look really cool. 
but this fireplace is new to us. We don't have another one. And it has this beautiful little grate that comes with it. So I really love that. And it's got a little stand for your wood, your little logs, with a little design. It really looks like a little iron stand. And it comes with a few logs. You just won't see this level of detail in the newer sets that are coming out. So, but I'm glad that we're able to still get our hands on these older ones. And it came with a few little sconces and a grandfather clock. Now the clock doesn't open, which I think is a little weird, but it does tick back and forth if you move it back and forth. But I do wish it opened, but that's okay. And I love the look of it. It's so nice to have a grandfather clock. And we have another one of these end tables. We have many of these end tables because they come in a lot of sets. But this is the first one we have in this deep chocolate color. So that's nice. And then a bunch of little accessories. We have another phone. This might be our like sixth phone. And the little pen set that comes with the little phone sets. And then here's this little table again. This table is unbelievably tiny. The drawer is the size of my thumbnail, practically. And this little plate is the little details like this, these little amazing accessories that sold me on this set. I love the plate and the little candlestick that it comes with and this little tiny little frame with a little buddy. I think that might be a milk rabbit baby, but I'm not sure, but he's really cute. How lovely is all that? We've got the flower pots to set up and then some books. And here are the stickers. And what I really love is the portrait of all the critters with balloons that we could put in that frame. And then here are the couches. So I love the red color. It kind of reminds me of the new, uh, the classic brown uh, new living room with the red fluffy couches, but it comes with in the old style couch. I just love it. It looks very classy and beautiful. So here is a little setup with the furniture, and I can't wait to see this in the House on the Hill. I think it's going to look so good. So I hope you all had a very, very Merry Christmas. We had a wonderful one. It was very busy with like 20 people at our house, but I loved it. And I'm looking forward to doing some more videos soon. I've got so many updates to show you, and the journey of our big renovation is going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.